Folks, this is Fernando doing another video for Tomorrow Survivalist, and in this case, it's going to be a pocket EDC update. Keep in mind that I've recently moved from Northern Ireland to Spain, so there are a few different things here and there, but basically, it's the same setup I've always had. You know, when you have a a setup that works for you and works on on different levels and you've been uh, tweaking that for several years like I have then there's really not a lot that changes yes there are a few things again completely different country completely different I mean exactly opposite weather from one to the other but as you see it still works and maybe it works uh, on on different levels for different things but when you have a, a good a tools, you really do appreciate them no matter where it is that you are. So let's get started with this video. I'm going to be doing another one with my EDC bag because there's more stuff to more stuff to discuss and explain, which I have no doubt you guys will be interested in, in seeing how that works. But let's get to it. First of all, the cell phone, same as always. Now, yes, I am using it quite a lot more than before. And most of all, you know what? I'm using a lot. Yes, of course, phone calls and such, messages, text text messages, uh, what's up and such, but most of all the GPS, I'm using it a lot so as to find my way uh, around. The, the maps and such, navigation, I'm using it all the time uh, because, again, new place, new city, and there's you know um, a lot of, of uh, things they have to do, places to get to and such, so using it all the time, extremely uh, valuable uh, tool to have. The GPS alone, man, it's, um, it's simply fantastic, but we tend to forget how powerful tools these actually are. Now, when, when you relocate to a new place, when you ha have to get used to a new country, a new city, then you uh, find, uh, uh, you have a, a newfound appreciation for uh, such a thing. Uh, the Note phone with the um, uh, Otterbox Defender case still working as, as well as always. In terms of sunglasses, I use these uh, as my daily sunglasses. These are um, Wiley X revolvers. I've used these in 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 Ireland all the time and now in Ireland it wasn't so much the Sun even though yes sometimes a little bit of the, of the glare and such but it was more about you know what the wind and the rain and it was a nice way of keeping those out of my eyes now here in the south of Spain the I mean you simply cannot be on the streets without these especially in the summer because of the intense uh, sunlight it's one of the I went from living in one of the cloudiest darkest cities in the planet to one of the sunniest ones I mean it's the exact opposite very much uh, opposite extremes you know extremely sunny weather ex extremely Extremely sunny city to a very cloudy one. Uh, ironically, it doesn't matter. These work fantastic in both cases. And again, these are also safety glasses. The Wiley X revolvers are uh, rated uh, as as a safety uh, glasses as well, so they keep your eyes protected when you go shooting. You can take them as your shooting glasses as well, which works fantastically well for me. Uh, but again, uh, as uh, uh, as sunglasses, just great. You know, I don't know how people live without any of these, but you know, at least in my case, I really do use them a lot. My watch is the same as always. I have um, a couple more floating around there, but in all honesty, this is the one that's pretty much glued to my wrist all day long. Uh, very tough, very reliable. It doesn't look bad either, being all titanium and high techy looking. Uh, solar, you have. Um, I'm not using, you know, I've mentioned this many, many times in the past four years that I was always checking in. In Ireland, I was always checking the barometric pressure chart, seeing how uh, weather was changing all the time. Here, it's like a joke, but it's, you know, always pretty much on the, on the upper uh, level and pretty much stable because weather is boringly nice. It's sunny all the time with a right amount of chilling uh, later on in the day at night. So yes, the, the fantastic weather that you have here makes this less useful. But um, one of the things that I, I may mention is that I am using the, the compass a little bit more. Uh, I do have my, uh, my GPS with all the maps and all the nice stuff, but sometimes it's just nice if you're maybe a little bit um, you know, a little bit confused and such. Quickly checking your your compass. You have it there in your in, in your wrist, and yes, 
just great great watch all around lighter same as always my my zippo with the thunderbird insert uh, someone commented in a previous video that with the thunderbird insert you lose the fireproof ability of the legendary zippo <laughs> okay i have nothing against zippos i really do love them but they do dry up fast uh yes i get it with the zippo it's um you know you have the the liquids the, the liquid fuel and it's actually as the zipper was intended but it has that problem that it really dries up fast for someone that is not a smoker like it's in, in my case i just want a flame whenever it is that i need it and it may go you know weeks without being used in that case uh, a butane insert like this it just works very very well i use it very little but when i need it i know that's there and uh, it's a, a reliable way of starting fires. I also have other ways of starting fire there in my in my uh, keychain. But let's move along. Wallet, um, same wallet as always. Uh, cash, you know, as you would expect, useful to have, especially when when you recently moved to a place. Uh, coins, using them a lot. Um, so uh, I have them in the in the pocket there, but I also have in the wallet pocket there. Yeah, a few but also just lose in the pocket a few as well because they get used all the time uh, regarding a uh, keychain is the same as always but with a new set of keys for obvious reasons uh, then I have my uh, Victorinox uh, mini cham fantastic little keychain tool the latest version which, which has instead of a, a red light which I honestly don't need uh, even though I you know I like having it before but I much prefer having just the pen and the tweezers which yes given they already have flashlights all over the place the tweezers I prefer instead of the red light uh, other than that just a pack full of little tools that always come in handy a uh, pico mini pry bar I have the UV light which I'm, I'm not really using that much um, you know it's it has a few uses i have done a video of it before explaining why uh, a uv light may be handy but i'm really not using it a lot maybe i'm going to be getting rid of it later uh mini usb charger for my phone it allows you to charge with uh, any usb port that you find around you can charge your phone there with it um, through night t fantastic little a double a triple a flashlight by through night my favorite through night flashlight i i just received another great through night flashlight which i'm going to be showing you uh, probably in, a, in future videos but this remains you know my all-time a favorite through night a flashlight it's very small keychain friendly we, with with a clip there a titanium construction 160 lumens on a triple a that's that's just crazy um a cruiser fits is it the sand disc usb a flash drive there with important files and the titanium peanut lighter which yeah it's just refilled it recently so yes it is as expected working but nice to check still uh what else do we have here i'm trying to not f to forget anything but you know maybe the case in terms of flashlights still rotating between these two bits still rotating between the through night it this is a t10t which is very nice most of all i really appreciate the ability of using the clicky interface you know you have your three levels of uh, moonlight medium and and high and i'm running it on rechargeable batteries which you know if you're having if you have an edc light and you honestly carry it every day and you're probably going to be using it a lot then you definitely want to have rechargeable ones it, it not only is it cheaper because you're not using primaries, but also helps greatly in keeping your flashlight always charged pretty much to its maximum capacity, which is kind of the idea. Uh, in this case, given that you're using a, a 14500 lithium ion battery, um, you can just throw in a regular AA battery, which is a, a, a nice um thing to have you know that that option of just using a, a very common battery such as a double a yet at the same time uh, taking advantage of lithium ion batteries like this one it does heat up i'm using in my lights more than in ireland yes i will say that much um quite a bit more in fact because because of the nicer uh, climate you go out more at night and uh, maybe when walking back home a little bit later in the day um just help you know along the way just having your your flashlight there so you light the the way a little bit so yes i'm using it um 
a more, I've always used my flashlights, you know, even regular normal day use, but here I'm using it uh, definitely more. So it's either this one, the Thrunite T10T or the Eagle Tag D25C, which also uses, as you see in both cases, I have a whistle attached. I think that's a, a, good, a good practice because a whistle is not always included in most EDCs, at least not many that I've seen. And in this case, which uses a CR123A battery, you can also use a 16340 uh, lithium ion ultrafire. This is quite old, still works rather well. This is brighter than the other one, than the T10T, but uh, for you know practical uses, I don't think there's much much of a, of a difference. Definitely brighter uh, this one, given the battery that it's using. But the the Thrunite T10T is not not bad, especially with a 14500 battery. I think this has better throw, which I nice. The coloration is a little bit better. This one a little bit shorter and maybe a little bit more compact. Uh, but um, the the light is white, neutral white, and this is cool white. Usually I prefer the neutral white, throws better, so it kind of compensates for less a actual a lumen out the front a, with nicer coloration and better focus and more throw. A, here you have more of a more actual lumen power. Again, I, I like that you have more modes here as well. I like having the strobe. Uh, this kind of looks better as well. So it's still undecided. Either one is going to be serving you fantastically well. Very good flashlights, both of them. So rotating between these two, depending on which one you have, uh, you know, nearby and such. In terms of knives, uh, a nice change is I don't have to put up with all any of that nonsense uh, of non-locking blades that you have in, in Ireland, in both Ireland and UK. Same stupid thing. You know, the, the locking blade, you actually have to, you know, have a, a good reason for it. And yeah, sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't, so I would have to change my pocket knife depending on what I was doing and such. Um, you know, if, if I could justify it, I would have a locking blade or a, you know, a fixed blade. You know, it's perfectly legal in both Ireland and UK, but it's only if you have uh, a use for it. If you don't have it, uh, you know, for just throwing something in your pocket, if that's what you're going to be doing through the day, you, you need a non-locking under three inch blade. Uh, here you don't have any of that nonsense. Thank God, which I was kind of getting fed up with uh, all that knife paranoia that they have over there in Spain. If it's, um, I think it's under four inch, uh, if it's up to four inch uh, knife, doesn't matter if it locks or not, no big deal. You can have this uh, in your pocket and it's not a problem. Now, um, now I'm using this one. I haven't done an actual review of it. It's a Cold Steel Voyager a Tanto Tip Half uh, Serrated Half Straight Edge. Um, I actually bought it because it was kind of on a, on a very good price actually floating around there and I wanted to have a, a Tanto uh, Cold Steel. I, I have another one, one of the older actually, the first Voyager that Cold Steel came up with back in the day many many years ago be, before any of this it was as popular as it is right now but I do like the Tanto uh, shape uh, blade. I also like that it has a disabled grind which if you compare it with the Clip Points Voyager, same, you know, this is a uh, large, both of these are large versions. You see how you have more of a thicker blade. I like having this. I think it's completely stupid to go for a full flat ground in a utility, even fighting use knife maybe, but more of, most of all a utility tool, something that has to be as strong as possible. I think it's completely stupid to go for a full flat grind. I understand that it cuts better. Now, at the same time, I have never had a problem with a saber grind knife uh, cutting anything. If you know how to sharpen it properly, and you know, cold steel knives, they come razor sharp, no joke, razor sharp out of the box. You can just shave like crazy with this knife. I don't know what's, I mean, I understand that some folks like it and because of uh, people demanding it, you know, knife, uh, the companies just sell what people want to be buying. If people want to buy a full flat ground, that's what they're going to be offering. Uh, but uh, I think you know makes no sense. Um, there's no not a significant change in how sharp it is. Both of these knives, properly sharpened, will be razor sharp beyond uh, you know the the difference. This is more the kind of thing that you find in a in a kitchen knife, not the kind of thing that you should be having in. Um, 
in a in a in a folder in a in a practical utility type of blade where strength is more of a thing uh, at the same time because of the nice um, real say that you have that someone compensates for the bad choice of having a full flat ground blade uh, still I'd much rather have a saber grind and having a, a tougher stronger blade so back to the <laughs> purpose of this video the thing is this I'm I'm testing trying out this one I wanted to give it a go not crazy about the serrations although I understand that in some cases they may they be uh, useful they have a, a purpose in general I just prefer a good straight edge uh, but this is the one that I'm carrying lately um, Sometimes I will go, some days I will go with the clip points version. I also want to get a, a, a vaquero, a, a four inch, a, a large vaquero to carry as well. I have my extra large one, but you know, here you have that four inch thing. So, and I can completely live with that. You know, happy enough with a four inch blade. A four inch, you know, the large is the smallest I would go for. I don't, I have no faith whatsoever in a ultra small little punny little pocket knives. Now this is reasonable in terms of how comfortable it is. It's small enough, there's no problem carrying this all day long in your pocket whatsoever. I mean, I at least don't see it, um, I don't see it as a, this is, this is actually the large version. There's a smaller one, the medium one, I think it's like three and something inch blade. I think that's just too small, I don't see a point in that. Uh, the large one is small enough as it is, both of these are very nice knives, very tough knives. A steel is OS8 steel, it locks very strong, has a triad lock which is very very sturdy. So yeah, I'll give it a go, see, this is more of a, of a knife that I see, you know, it, this, it's not as strong as this one, and then again the clip point penetrates better whenever it's a, that's what you're needing. Uh, but then again the, the Tanto tip by Cold Steel is not bad at all, it's actually quite decent. So, still trying to decide which one I'm going to be sticking with as in permanent. So far, trying both out, both excellent knives, no doubt there. Um, this is uh, regarding my left pocket. On my right pocket, as always, again, thankfully to the non-stupid locking knife restriction, I'm back to having it all day long, my, um, my Leatherman um, Charge TTI. Um, I used to carry it as well, but again, it was only when I could somewhat justify having it with me, which was kind of a pain in the ass. Now, no longer that problem. Left pocket, right pocket, as I did m all my life, <laughs> all my adult life, actually, uh, in, in Argentina, which, you know, it's a very good way to go about it. Left pocket, right pocket, and yeah, man, very happy to go back to that, as in, every single day of my life. Uh, one of the things I've been using a lot because you know with, with the move and all lots of these things were of course I could I couldn't have any knife in in the airplane uh, but uh, especially with the move misplaced some stuff and one of the things that I uh, found um, first was my Leatherman sidekick and I use this one a lot during the um, during the move, uh, opening stuff, using it for you know fixing things here and there, it is just I was just reminded again of how great of a multi tool this is. If you don't have money for the Littleman Charge, which is kind of pricey, I love it. I think it's a fantastic knife. Uh, steel in the blade is of course much better than this, but this is a, a fan this is no doubt the best budget multi-tool you can have. It's Leatherman, it's built like a tank, um, spring uh, assisted uh, pliers, the blade is useful enough as it is. Yeah, sure, it's not a, a monster of a knife, but this little blade here will get a lot of things done. And yes, it does lock into place nicely, very safe to handle, so yeah, uh, recommending it again, the, the Lerman Sidekick, fantastic, fantastic knife. And finally, again, thanks to the non-stupid <laughs> laws which you have here in Spain, at least, guys, I know this is not the United States, I know it's not US, but um, compared to Ireland and UK laws, which were horrible regarding all this stuff, it's a nice break to be in Spain. Uh, here in Spain, you are allowed to have, um, you know, uh, a way of defending yourself. Basically, you do have the you, uh, the possibility of having pepper spray. Any kind of pepper spray that you have, I think they have restrictions regarding anything that leaves uh, a permanent damage. 
um, based on my research, I think that most countries have very serious restrictions regarding any chemical uh, weapon that leaves any permanent damage. But if not, uh, then that's perfectly legal here in Spain. You can have your red uh, saber. This is the one that I found in the local store. Maybe I'll get something bigger eventually. Actually, this is probably going to be going to my wife. Maybe I'll buy. It's not bad. It's not very small. This is kind of adequate. Now, it's, everything is in Spanish and it's kind of approved by some local authority of some kind. Uh, but it's good old red saber uh, pepper spray. Uh, in UK and Ireland, you were not allowed to have pepper spray. Actually, it was banned as bad as a, as a gun. As carrying a gun illegally, that was the same kind of, of problem you would be getting yourself into if you have. And trust me, I researched it in both countries, in both uh, Ireland and UK, both awful regarding this. There's simply no way for a person, especially, you know what, for a, for a, for a female, for a, a woman that wants to have something to has to, you know, compensate for the physical difference between a you know, man and woman if she's being attacked or something like that. No way for a, a lady to have any sort of, of tool for self-defense in either country. Uh, I think that's simply horrible. Especially with the kind of problems that they have over there with that specific kind of, of crime, which is um, unusually high. You know, the, the thing over there with sex scandals and, and there is pretty bad. Um, yes, and in terms of, of, of a violent crime and such, Spain is actually safer than uh, Ireland. But, you know, just it's always good common sense to have something like this with you. I at least think it is. If you have the right to uh, carry uh, uh, a concealed weapon in the United States, as most of you folks do. Just go through it, get your concealed carry weapon license and carry the thing, carry your gun everything, every single day. Exercise your rights because the day you stop exercising them, it's like muscles, you start losing them. Folks, I'm gonna be doing another video with some more stuff that I carry with me most, uh, most days, actually pretty much every day here as of right now, which again, because of this change, new place, new city, new climate, new stuff being used. Guys, take care, have a great day, see you on our next video.